Idag så inleds den största rättegången hittills i Sverige sett till omfattningen. Totalt så ställs ett 70-tal personer inför rätta i fem domstolar samtidigt. Misstänkta för grova dopningsbrott. Och kan är efterlyst internationell dopingbrottsling. Lär befinna sig i Brasilien, mm. Linda, om vi är korrekt underrättade. Ja, den här 42-årige muskelbyggaren från Göteborg. Då, han dömdes i mars i fjol i hovrätten. Misstänkt för bland annat grovt dopningsbrott. Då. Han fick två år och nio månaders fängelse för det här. Och ska nu befinna sig i Brasilien. Och det här för att... Hur säkra de uppgifterna, vet du? De är rätt säkra för att han tävlar tydligen fortfarande i bodybuilding. Okay everyone, today it's uh, Tuesday, 8th of December 2015 and right now we are up um, at Guldheden. 400 meters from here I, I was born and uh, I lived the th three first years. The most of the people out in this sport and bodybuilding industry know why I haven't competed and uh, been on the social medias for a while. But uh, I still get a lot of email and questions where I have been. And um, since June 2014 until the 1st of October 2015, I have um, served an old um, crime. So I've been in prison these last 16 months. Uh, the crime is since 2009 and it was um, about steroid selling here in Sweden. So that's why I haven't been on stage, I haven't been on the medias, I haven't trained. I've been out exactly 10 weeks now. Good morning, we will wait for Mattie and Kjellström. He will come here straight, he will wait for him. Okay. Boom, boom, boom! Yes! 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 It feels good. It feels good to be home, be with my kids, the family. How is prison? Yes, of course, it's not a funny place to be in, and um, but you have to choice. Otherwise, you do it and remember the good things, or you just get depressed and say that it's a shit place. I tried to, to remember everything that was fun. We had actually some fun in there. So it was good for me. I, I, I find that it, it was finally over for me. All this press, all this media, every writing about me, talking about me. And uh, in the end, when I was searched by Interpol, it was, it was stressed. Everything was so stressed. It was a tough time uh, and it's finally over. This clip today was just so, so I can tell everyone, so nobody wonder where I've been and why I haven't competed and why I haven't trained. Next uh, clip we do, it will be back in Axel in the gym, a little more fire, a little more inspiration, and I think it would be a back or a chest workout. Okay, see you soon everyone. Thanks for today. Bye.